Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. You guys are in luck if you're watching this for the first time as soon as it uploads because this is the second video for today. I actually had a video that was um, under six minutes. I haven't had one of those for a while, so um, I'm going to be doing the Lakitu's Cave or the Cave of the Lakitu's, whatever it's called. Anyways, right here we have a one-up opportunity. You have to aim at the arrow and make sure it hits the shell. And you get a one-up. Pretty easy one-up to get, and you also get some stars, too. So it's a pretty cool thing you can do. Let's see, you got some red coins here. Go down here, get some more coins. And up here we have a pal block. Now if you uh, hit the pal block, all enemies on screen will turn into stars. So it's a very helpful item to use, but it obviously doesn't make very many appearances in the game. However, if uh, you can actually get a uh, pal block item that pretty much functions in the same way, so those can be pretty helpful to get as well. So uh, try to look out for those when you're playing like all the bonus games and stuff, and see if you can get some of those in addition to other items as well. I'd mainly go for the star items though, since those are automatic gains, and you don't have to worry about the stars getting away from you. Okay, let's go up here. Um, there's actually another pal block that you can't see on screen. You have to jump on that arrow block to find it. And there we go, let's uh, continue on our merry way. Oh yeah, and there's uh, one other thing I want to talk about. Um, uh, I do apologize to the people who uh, are watching this video much later after I've already uploaded this because uh, this really only applies to the project when I first uploaded but I'm actually going to be making a few changes to my upload schedule uh, I've been uh, switching between Yoshi's Island and Advanced Wars for a while I've been doing like three days of Yoshi's Island and then one day of Advanced Wars um, basically I'm going to change that after World 4 is over to two days of Yoshi's Island and one day of Advance Wars. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want Advance Wars to take me uh, too long to finish, so I want to speed the process up a little bit, and I think uh, instead of having only one mission per week, having two missions per week might be a bit better in the long run, so uh, yeah, after World 4 is over, I am going to switch to that upload schedule. I'll probably put a notification on my channel to remind you guys, but I felt like mentioning that now while it was in my head, so uh, yeah, that's going to happen after World 4 is completed. In this room, it's a long fall from the top. There are five red coins. You have to get those, so uh, go down with caution. Uh, you could also probably use a magnifying glass to help you find the coins a lot easier. Right here, you want to hit the Koopa Troopa with an egg on the left side of him so he can uh, hit the flower. Uh, what's in that other balloon over here, that's just a one-up, so you don't really need that. But if you really want a one-up, you can just, like, leave the room and come back, and it'll still be there. Got some piranha plants, be very careful. And we're off to the next room, which I think is the last room of the level, but it's a pretty big one, too. Grab the shell, and follow the shell to the very end, because it'll hit that flower. I don't think there was any other way to get that flower. Okay, over here we have a key and a red coin. The red coin, not hard to get. And the key, well, it's pretty much, you get that the same way. But yeah, this key goes to a bonus game we'll be playing momentarily because I believe the door is right outside. Yep, there it is. Okay, so let's do the next bonus game. Oh, it's throwing balloons again. We've done this game. We've done this game many times already. Not really that thrilled to do it again. And it also seems like we have the longer variation of the game because uh actually I think there are three variations of the game. A game with three buttons, a game with four buttons, and a game with five buttons. Uh there might not be a three one now that I think about it, but um, there are definitely t at least two variations, a long one and a short one. 
and I believe if you complete the long one, you'll get a two up instead of just a one up. And then of course, if you do the shorter one, you just get a one up. So the reward is a little better for doing the longer game, but it's not that much better. And we win. All right, it's two up. <laughs> I like how Yoshi's mouth is open on the one up card. I don't know why. I just do. Okay, so... Okay, we're doing okay for the coins. We're not quite done yet, though. Or not the coins, just 100 points in general. Also, I do apologize if this video is, seems more informative than actual, you know, casual fun like the last three videos have been. But keep in mind that... I don't know. I've, I actually recorded these last four videos on the same day, so... Yeah... I'm kind of getting a little tired of playing this right now. So yeah, I'm kind of just a little tired of it, so I do apologize if that's affecting the commentary, but I wanted to make sure I got this done. So yeah, right here we have a very tricky jump. So let's be careful how we do this. And let's not lose Baby Mario. Let's get some stars, but I'm one star short, unfortunately. So now I have to either use an item or find an enemy to hit with a red egg. Which a lot of people have been telling me to do because uh, for the first uh, two levels of uh, World 3 I had to use my items. And technically I didn't have to, I could have just found an enemy and used a red egg against it, but I just forgot about that. Anyways, that is a tricky jump, but once you get to it, just grab the flower and you're done. Okay, these are probably the trickiest things to get. Just be very careful, and as soon as the arrow is pointing at the coin or the flower, just fire your egg immediately, and you should be able to get it with no problem. So, let's wait for it. Now! Yes! Thank you. Oh, I oh, can't quite grab the star, so... I think there are some enemies right here. Yep, there are. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my yellow egg. And since I have a yellow egg, all I have to do is uh, ricochet it against a ceiling or a wall, hit a lack of two, and I get myself some stars. So, yes, we got one. All right. And that is the end of the level, so hooray for that. Um, you'll be seeing 4-3, uh, not tomorrow, but within the next two days you'll see it. We're almost halfway done with this roll already. But there we go, 100 points. And we also get a bonus game, too, so that's nice. I actually have a bonus game streak now. I haven't had one of those for a while. And, of course, we get Scratch and Match, a game that we should all be familiar with. It's the same game I cheated at, at in World 1, so... I feel kind of infamous for doing that, but whatever. Okay, I got a 1-up. That's fine. And there we go. Yoshi is jumping up and down very happily. Okay, so that's level 4-3. Uh, See you guys next time for more Let's Play Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Later, folks.